In 2018, Nicaragua was shaken by violent protests against planned reforms to the country's social security system. President Ortega cracked down brutally, prompting fresh protests against government repression. At least 325 people were killed amid numerous human rights violations. President Ortega led the revolution that toppled the country's dictatorship in 1979 and he was re-elected to office in 2006. Since then, economic growth and low crime rates masked the gradual erosion of the country's democratic institutions and increased government control over the courts and the electoral institutions. The loss of most financial aid from Venezuela, as well as the government's aggressive handling of the protests, has now resulted in economic decline. Public anger, the arrests and trials of hundreds of political opponents, as well as the dissatisfaction from key allies, most notably the church and the private sector, has increased the country's political polarization. What can be done to solve the crisis? The government's unwillingness to engage, as well as lack of unity within the opposition, mean that time for dialogue has not yet arrived to Nicaragua. We at the International Crisis Group recommend that external actors develop discrete channels of communication with the government in order to create more favorable conditions for talks in the future. In this report, we argue that the government of President Daniel Ortega allowed the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights to remain active and present within the country to ensure the protection of human rights. Lastly, we encourage the government to follow through on its promise of electoral reform ahead of the country's presidential polls in 2021. If President Ortega and his government fail to build the necessary foundations for dialogue with the opposition, they run the risk of a new explosion of violence in the future.